back to SourceFed. I'm Lee Newton. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. It's official! NASA can do whatever they want. You want to dress a monkey up in a spacesuit? Go for it! Sounds adorable! You want to eat pudding in zero gravity? Why not? You want to lasso an asteroid and turn it into a space station? What do you think you are, space cowboy? The White House Offices of Science and Technology is currently considering a proposal from Caltech scientists that describe a plan to lasso a near-Earth asteroid and bring it into the moon's orbit. Why, you ask? I was just gonna ask that, Lee. I should've asked that. Now I feel like if I ask, it's gonna seem like I'm placating. All right, fine, why? Why? Okay, glad, glad you asked. <laughs> well, if approved, the $2.6 billion plan would develop a robotic spacecraft that would transport a 500-ton asteroid into the lunar orbit by 2025. There, the asteroid would be mined for resources and be converted into a base for human habitation. Like a really badass moon party base. I wonder if they're gonna have a cafeteria on board. That'd be really cool. They should name it something like Astro's Cafe Ooh. Lunar Lunch. Yeah. Although that would mean that they would only be open during lunch, which is a horrible business plan. All right, we're gonna have to re work. This. Yeah, yeah. Besides offering space lunch, one of the main opportunities that would come from the space station is having a place to jumpstart missions to Mars. And even launch missions into deep space. Well, now to capture that there vomit asteroid, you're gonna need yourself a robot space probe to make friends with the asteroid or rendezvous with it. See its highs and howdies, analyze it for suitability, get it to stop spinning. Then I set, then transport it to lunar orbit, a process that could take up to 10 years if and you get Get yourself a testy one. Well then, with the help of a simple solar electric propulsion system and a tiny little Atlas V-Class rocket, you got yourself a completely usable spacecraft. That could be home of multiple missions. All you need is to wrangle a 7 meter, 500 ton asteroid. Then you got yourself a sweet little astronaut B&B for at least 10 years. <laughs> More importantly, you just got yourself an astro to your space base, my son. And with that bouncing baby space base, you're looking at enabling, I said, you're looking at enabling human exploration further into the solar system. Not to mention, you could get yourself an entire industry that could make devices and spacecraft solely from resources on an asteroid. Making it mankind's first attempt at modifying the heavens to enable permanent settlement of humans in space. Well, space station, here I come. Wait a minute. No, Lee, I'm not moving up there unless I know for sure there's going to be a cat. Well, no one's gonna no one's gonna make you, buddy. Look, I'm gonna need a movie theater too, all right? And I want toys. Okay. I want I want to call it the Milky Way movie theater. Fair, fair enough. I I think we can let you do that. And so help me God, there better be Coke Zero up there. I'm telling you what I said. I said Coke Zero. <laughs> so guys, what do you think the asteroid space station would need? Let us know in the comment section down below. Please click the like button and or the subscribe button and click this here fancy annotation to see all our videos on YouTube or go to SourceFed dot com to see our news and blog stuff. I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Lee Newton. <laughs> you know I'm not doing a black person. I'm doing a foghorn leghorn <laughs> or a southern duck or something. A southern chicken. The cartoons. Do you know? It's not black. It's just gonna be called southern duck.